It is June 28th, and uh, we're getting ready to head out west. Saying goodbye to the garden, taking one last look at everything, looking at our accomplishments, looking at what our seeds done. Not, e I mean, not even including the seeds in our mind. You know, there's there's a lot of good stuff that came out of this garden. A lot of good stuff. Like we said, we're really happy to to see for ourselves and prove to ourselves that we're capable of growing food because up to now this was all just an idea, a thought, a hypothesis and now we've, we've shown to ourselves that yeah indeed we can grow our own food if, if we put in the work and the knowledge and we learned a lot and now we uh, and now we have to leave this garden, we're going to leave it in good hands in very good hands, in loving hands that will take care of it and uh, harvest all its good food. And Olga's got an eye on things. Yeah, Olga's going to keep an eye on things, not let things get out of hand. So we say goodbye to uh, to this garden. Hopefully in the very near future we'll be seeing pictures and video of everybody enjoying these veggies. These plants right here in the end, the three, one, two, three, these are the only plants that survived from Tony. And I just wanted her to be able to get a good look at what the seed became. I think we did pretty good with them, so <laughs> there they are. Yep, these are Tony's tomatoes. Tony's these tomatoes. three right here, one, two, three. We had a chappies make it. And um, a lollipop. Lollipop and... I think two lollipops. A pink brandy wine. Oh, pink brandy wine. Yeah. There was, there was only one of each that we got. Well, garden. Thank you for everything you got. And now we're going to be going to Colorado and then Mexico, and then we'll be building our next garden somewhere. Uh, who knows where? Who knows where? But at least here, this spring, we have learned a lot and we're very thankful for that knowledge that we that we gained and yeah we also have uh, managed to add a little bit of food to the table and cut off a little bit of the budget so that's also part of it yeah thing. especially when you live in areas where you know most of the year you can't get to fresh produce that's local you know it, it, it is really hard around here you know groceries are very expensive in this area because of transport so saving money on that alone hopefully will give my family some advantages to where they can do some other things you know that's needed for yeah. life <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us in this garden adventure and uh in this learning experience and uh we'll go on to the next one cheers <laughs>